Okay, welcome back. Um, this is example number two. Maybe you want to just pause the video over here and take a few moments to read through the question. Okay. Now, um, let me just remind everyone that for this first part of the chapter, we'll just try to express the uh, given equation into this form, y equals to mx plus c. So if it's not too obvious to you, let me just... Uh, you know, rewrite this equation so it looks more obvious. So y equals to 5 times 1 over x plus 2. Okay, and uh, if you if you look at this very closely, your y is y, okay, your big y is y, your big x is 1 over x, okay, your m, which is your gradient, is 5, and your y-intercept is 2. So straight away, straight away from this piece of information that you managed to get, you realize that you already found a point on the line, which is the y-intercept. Okay, so the y-intercept is given by, the coordinates of the y-intercept is given by this point, 0, 2. Okay, so that's one point on the line. Okay, now the gradient is 5, right? So using, using the uh, gradient, okay, Perhaps we can think of another point on, find another point, or rather, on the line. So when, okay, so when x is equals to 1, okay, so the other point that I'm trying to find is that, is that when x is equals to 1, okay, let, let my y, okay, be, let my y be equals to y2, for example. So my gradient m, okay, which is 5, will be equals to, okay, using the gradient function, y2 minus 2 over 1 minus 0. Okay, so in case you have forgotten how to find gradient, okay, gradient is equals to y2, okay, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay, so just in case you have forgotten, let me just write out the uh, uh, equation, the formula rather, for you over here. So solving this, I will have y2 is equals to 5 plus 2, which is just 7. Okay, so I have another point, I have another point on the on the line. Okay, so with that piece of information, I can sort of uh, I can sketch my graph. Okay. So how do we sketch the graph? Okay, take note now that your y-axis is no longer just uh, you know, it's not your, it might not be your usual y. In this case, it's, it still is because big Y is y. Whereas my x-axis is now 1 over x. Okay, so my x-axis is 1 over x. Okay, this is where it, it sort of gets tricky. So one point on this line is 0, 2. Okay, 0, 2. So 0, 2 is somewhere over here. Okay, 0, 2. The other point, the other point would be over here. When x equals to 1, y is equals to y2, which is 7. So when x is 1, y is 7, somewhere here. So when x is 1, y is 7. So I take, I take a, I just draw a straight line through, and uh, that's the sketch that we're looking for. Okay, that's the sketch that we want. Okay, and this is the sketch of the line, of the line y equals to 5 over x plus 2 okay okay moving on uh, let's look at example 2b okay so we are given two points and we want to express y as a function of x now the most important thing to take note for this example is that your y-axis <coughs> is xy and then your x-axis is x cubed so once again Okay, let me just write this over here to remind you guys. So my y-axis, okay, my y-axis uh, is x, y, m, okay, and my x-axis is x cubed. Okay, so all we need to do now is to look, is to find the, uh, is to find the precise uh, number, okay, for m and c. So m is gradient, so once again, how to find gradient, we'll just take the y-coordinate of one point minus the y-coordinate of the other point, the x-coordinate of one point minus the x-coordinate of the other point. 
okay I key this into the calculator and I'll just get um, M is equals to negative <clears throat> excuse me negative 1 okay okay and and um, Okay, just give me a moment, huh? Yeah, okay, negative one over here. Okay, so now let us find the, the C, okay, or the y-intercept. So just by observation over here, okay, my y-intercept is one. Okay, so I'm just gonna fill us, fill this into the equation that I wrote at first, so negative x cubed plus 1. And you know, if you want to express y as a function of x, we will just divide the x over. So I'll get x squared plus 1 over x. Okay, and there we have it. Okay, that's the answer for example 2b. Okay, moving on to example 2c. We have two variables related in this equation over given over here. A y equals to x plus b squared. Okay. Then the question says that when the graph of y over x is plotted against x, the resulting line has a gradient of five and an intercept of zero point five. Find a and b. So once again, once again, I can't remind you enough that we will want to express the given equation in this form: y equals to m x plus c. So from the given equation, which is ay equals to x plus bx squared, I will divide by, I will divide by a, no wrong, I will divide by x throughout. Okay, so I'll get a over y over x equals to 1 plus bx. Okay, and... Uh, I think the other thing that I'm going to do over here is that I will divide my a throughout. So I'll get y over x equals to b over a times x plus 1 over a. Okay, so from here, I can see that my big Y is y over x. My big X is just x. My m is b over a and then my c is 1 over a. Okay, so from the given information, the gradient of this graph, y over x plotted against x, okay, is has a gradient of 5. So m is 5, and m is b over a. Okay, so this means that b is 5a. Okay, the next piece of information I got, my c, which is my y-intercept, is 0 0.5. And I found earlier that my C is 1 over A. So solving this, I will have A, okay, equals to 2. Equals to 2. And then, okay, supping this back into the R, uh, into B. So 5 times 2. Okay, B will be 10. Okay, so the conclusion over here is that A is 2 and uh, B is 10. Okay. So, yep, that's all for example 2. Hope you enjoyed the video and uh, we'll look to move on to practice number 2 in the next video. See you for now.